This demonstration video presents how we can visualize the backup featured model using the on-card map representation. In the backup featured model, each image is represented as a sparse vector of local representative features called visual words, each of which serves as a basis for composing the high-dimensional image feature space. For visualizing the image categorization conducted in these backup feature models, we need to transform this high-dimensional image feature space to the 2D screen space while returning the underlying semantics of the given image data side. Our idea here is to first extract the relationships between images and visual words as a bipartite graph and then transform it to the screen space using the on-card map representation as shown in this video. Here, each input image is rearranged in the central disk region using the conventional force directed algorithm. On the other hand, the list of the visual words are aligned along the circular boundary of the disk region, where each of which is represented as its most relevant image in the given data side. We can also visualize how coin images are discriminated from eyeglasses images using the support vector machine by interactively annotating each image with its corresponding category. Here, the images outlined in red are labeled as images within the category, while those outlined in blue are labeled out of the category. We also visualize how the coin images are categorized in this representation by applying the Voronoi tessellation to the central disk region and append the corresponding Voronoi cells in yellow as showed in this video. We also try to optimize the circular ordering of visual words so that we can maximally clarify the underlying categorization of the given image data side. This can be accomplished by developing the genetic-based optimization in our approach so that we can bring relevant visual words for each image sufficiently closer to each other. Thus, we can better discriminate between images of these two categories within this anchored map representation. When handling large-sized image data size, this anchored map representation is likely to suffer from visual cut arising from unnecessary overlay among images, since the central disk reading will be crowded with more images. For alleviating this problem, we introduced hierarchical representation of the images in this anchored map representation by defining the similarities between every pair of the images and merge them one by one to conduct the hierarchical clustering. This shows how we can merge the original set of images into a small set, where each image stands for a cluster of images and its size indicates how many images are contained in that cluster. In this example, we take as input images of three different categories such as cars, tomatoes, and grapes. First of all, we optimize the circular ordering of visual words using the genetic algorithm again and annotate each representative image with its corresponding category so that we can include car images specifically out of tomato and grape images in this case. We then increase the number of image clusters by dissolving each cluster into smaller ones and try to adjust the image categorization by annotating more images with their corresponding categories. Finally, we visualize all the input images and fine-tune the image categorization again by selecting a small set of images as a training set for the support vector machine classifier. In this way, we can visualize how images are categorized in the high-dimensional image feature space, which fully convinces us with the correctness of this image categorization.